with Shannon's Sizzle and Stampers and today we are coming to you from the beautiful mountain region of Rifle, Colorado. <clears throat> we are up here stamping and camping. I had a work conference up here and now we're done for the day and I'm getting ready to do my Facebook alternative paper pumpkin project with you guys. However, there is not enough internet or service for me to stream live so I'm putting it in a video format and I'll post it that way. Um, anyway, we're going to begin with the paper pumpkin kit for this month, which you can see is a beautiful polished pink box, and it's the Hope box. So, let's get to it. Alright, so this was the August paper pumpkin box. It's called the Hope box, and as you can see, it's really pretty rainbow ombre colors that has happy and hopeful words all over it. So let's see what's inside. And you guys know your paper pumpkin alternatives you're getting me without any prep work on what we're going to do. So we've got a roll of really wide kind of a mesh linen Blackberry Bliss ribbon. Our spot, our ink spot is Blackberry Bliss. We've got some little purpley, purple silver sequins and our dimensionals and then our glue dots and this is a really cool stamp set let me flip it this way so you can see it and let me put it against the box always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring you got butterflies where there is faith miracles happen all kinds of fun good stuff and then this is your full color instruction sheet that comes in your paper pumpkin box each month so make sure that if you are not subscribed to Paper Pumpkin, you sign up today so that you can get the next box. September's box comes in a wood grained box and you're gonna make little treat favors and you can turn your box into a vintage wheelbarrow. All right, so we're gonna start and look at the rest of the materials in our box. So some really cool rainbow ombre envelopes. I probably won't use those for envelopes. I'll probably cut them and use them for like designer series paper. This is a super big, what I call a belly band. And it's so that you can wrap it around your box, your paper pumpkin box when you get done and give it to someone else. And then we have some different card fronts. So let's see, we have this one with kind of a watercolor wash with spirals some die cuts with the, that giant butterfly was designed for your box. We'll see if I use it that way or not. Some aqua or pool party type card fronts. Lots of die cuts that say hope in multiple languages. More die cuts. There's some really good die cuts in this kit. These are really pretty. They're designed to go over that watercolor wash card I can tell right now from looking. And then our last card front is in the pinks with the splatter effect. Butterflies, some more splatter Bermuda Bay, a rainbow wash. Wow, this kit is full of stuff. Tomorrow and Hope. And these really cool banners. Finally, some white space. And circles and rectangles. So that is what comes in the kit. Now, this is the projects <clears throat> if you want to do them as designed in your kit. And always on the back of your paper pumpkin, there are some alternatives on there as well that sometimes use other pieces of the kit. Now, because I've come up here and I'm at a campground, we're at the Rifles, let's see, Rifle Gap State Park campground. Um, I literally have just the kit materials. And then the extra things that I will, that you might see me use is a memento block ink pad, my block and scissors, and I will probably use my seal adhesive. All right, so let's see what I'm going to create. And I'm probably going to try to stamp on this smooth, the smoothest part of this picnic table up here, since I wanted to be outside to do it. So let's start with yeah let's do this card here so we're going to fold this and instead of having a basic card what we're going to do is cut half of it and I don't have a paper trimmer with me so 
mine will probably not be as sharp and crisp as what you could do with a paper trimmer. But I'm going to cut that front of that card in half, coming down the score line. I'm going to have to go back in there and clean that up a little bit. Not too bad with scissors. So we have a piece that looks like that. I'm going to cut this a little bit more off, so not quite in half. And I cut up hills uh, clearly on that one. My husband is helping me. He's filming over my shoulder, so. All right, so we have two pieces like so, all right? So the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to use this, maybe that. It's too big. Let's just do a white one. Yep. We're going to use this white piece here. And lay these two pieces aside so that we can stamp. I'm going to get our Blackberry Bliss. I didn't even bring my large Blackberry Bliss ink pad for this, which normally I like to use the larger ink pad. It's easier for me, but we are camping. So that's the other thing I really like about, about the little spots is you can take them anywhere. They travel really well. Let's see if this will fit on my block. Not perfectly. To make it work, I think. All right, I'm going to ink that up. So when I use the little spots, I take the ink to the stamp. If I'm using the big ink pad, then I do it the opposite way. And a lot of times when you have it, use a new stamp, some of these, I'm going to stamp on this cardboard because... I can tell that it's repelling the ink, so I just want to see. It's stamping pretty good, so even though it looks like it's repelling ink, repelling the ink. So I ink it back up there really good. And we're just going to stamp that in the center of the white. Now, you noticed from this project, I'm kind of taking a little bit of an idea from here. So they've used the Hope and the Tomorrow from those die cuts. And they have layered them to give different colors to brighten that up. And then let's see. That's going to be too much. So probably use some butterflies. All right, so we're going to use our dimensionals. And we're going to put these words on with the dimensionals. So they will not only pop because of the color, but they will literally stand out. Oop. Pop that one right off onto my finger. Then we're just going to layer it right over the word like that. We're going to do the same thing to the hope. If you had the mini dimensionals, you could use two mini dimensionals on the hope would have been adequate. All right, so now we've got that popping out and we want to add, I want to add something a little bit more. Let's do this tiny butterfly. We'll ink it back up with the Blackberry Bliss. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do this one kind of coming off my paper, like that. All right, and now to make them stand out even more,
I'm trying to debate. Do I like those or do I like this overlay? I think I like the small one. Don't want to lose those. I'll use them again. So we're going to put those on. And for these, I'm just going to put a little bit of my adhesive. You could use the flat glue dots. My goodness, my seal, I can run it in a big line. There we go. And I'm just pinching the butterfly in half, and then I'm gonna lay it over. And all I'm doing is just, I don't want it to lay fully flat because I want you to be able to see the little bit of shade shadowing underneath of it. There we go. So we're gonna do the same thing with this little butterfly up here. And then we're going to take our little sequins. Oh, I only have big scissors with me, so we'll see if these can work well. I'm going to put, kind of make the butterflies have little bodies. I can push those sequins together. And I'm going to do that even on this one up here where it's kind of coming off of my page. He's only going to get one, I think. There we go. All right, so we've got that. I'm going to lay the sequins. Now, we are rebuilding this card front with this. So, oh, I've got the white, and now we have the rainbow on the back side. So we're going to layer that on like this. And then the easiest way I have found to do this is to line my paper up on the reverse here and lay it like that. So now you've got a cool little feature. And then the last thing I think we will do is we're going to come back in with that little butterfly. Stamp another one up there. And I think I'm going to use another one of these little doodads. And we'll put some sequins on that one as well. Okay, so I know you're only getting one project today because of the not being able to live stream it. So I hope that you really like that card. It, it gives you kind of a windowed effect and lets you open that fully. You can, you could adhere that back down if you want to, but I like it, the fact that it's open. So now you've got kind of a little open window. And if you really want to, you could come back in with your butterfly. And you can see where your butterfly might show through and you can add some little butterflies behind there. That also helps bring that one in. And you could even put some sequins on there if you want. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and we will see you next time. But for right now, I will say bye from Rifle Colorado. Enjoy this stamping and camping with me. Bye-bye.